you know, one of the most common questions I'm asked is, is how the pricing works at a community like Collington. And I, I think it's helpful to first back up a little bit and to define some terms. Uh, I think it's helpful to remember that, that Collington is a continuing care retirement community. And you often see the acronym CCRC, or the new vernacular is uh, we're calling ourselves life plan communities. But, but to flesh that out a little bit, at, at a life plan community, the vast majority of our residents start off living independently. They come in mid to late 70s, they're living in either apartment homes or cottages or larger villas. But the idea with the life plan community is down the road, uh, when the inevitable happens and some of us need more care, there's the full complement of long-term healthcare resources. There are the different specializations and, and nuances of assisted living, uh, memory care, skilled nursing, even short-term rehabilitation. And I, I share that in the context of talking about pricing is at a life plan community, the pricing works differently because it's a different kind of dynamic, a different kind of situation. So at Collington, we're fortunate enough to have three different uh, living options. We have apartment homes um, that are connected to our community center with these really handy climate controlled walkways. So on days when it's particularly cold or rainy, residents who live in apartments don't have to go outside to go to a class or a lecture or a concert or a meal. We also offer cottages, which aren't necessarily larger or more expensive than apartments, but they're situated outdoors. They're first floor walkouts. They're situated in like a, a neighborhood type setting. And they're connected to that same community center with a network of covered walkways. So uh, you're walking into the main building to go to classes or concerts or culture or activities, but it'll be chilly uh, during, during the winter seasons. We also offer villas, which are larger versions of cottages. Uh, square footage, 1,800 to, to 2,000 square feet. Uh, the villa homes also have garages. So pricing is based primarily on square footage, not on the situation or the setting. So the larger the home, uh, the, the higher priced it will be. So with pricing, there's really two important foci. There's an upfront entrance fee that our residents pay, and there's also an ongoing monthly service package. So let's start by talking about the entrance fee and the choices that our incoming residents have. So I'm gonna take a, a one bedroom cottage just as a sample. Uh, a home that's a little bit smaller will be less expensive. Homes that are larger will obviously be more expensive, but just to give you a, a, a reference point. So in terms of the entrance fee, our incoming residents have three options. And the options vary tremendously depending on how important refundability is. So for example, with a one bedroom cottage, you could pay an entrance fee of roughly $100,000. And that amount will depreciate 2% every month. And then after a four year period, that amount is no longer refundable to beneficiaries. So it's a, a, a relatively speaking, a, a lower buy-in or entry fee, but it's a really good fit for people who don't have beneficiaries who are necessarily waiting for some of that investment back after uh, our residence uh, tenure at Collington is over. We also offer a 50% refundable buy-in. So if refundability is a priority, if it is important to you or your family, you can pay for that same one bedroom cottage a little bit more, just under 150,000. And then after your Collington tenure is over, 50% of that investment would go back to your estate or to your beneficiaries. Collington also offers a 90% refundable entrance fee. So it's higher for the one bedroom cottage. It's right at $200,000 but it's really good for people who wanna make sure that they leave something to family or to a church or to beneficiaries after um, they live their lives out at home. So three choices of entrance fee that really are governed by how important it is to refund some of that investment after um, you're no longer at Collington. So you also have a choice of monthly service package. So let's talk a little bit about what our monthly service package includes. It's meant to be fairly comprehensive. So it covers day-to-day -day expenses, um, all of your utilities, heating, cooling, water, electricity, maintenance on anything internally or externally in our homes. It covers housekeeping every other week, including linen service, uh, one meal a day at one of our two dining venues at Collington, security, 
uh, some basic transportation, uh, local telephone, uh, basic cable with Comcast, and then wireless internet service. All of that is woven together into an ongoing monthly service package that residents would pay each month. But we have two choices that really are governed um, that depend on whether you already have long-term care insurance or not. So take that same one bedroom cottage that we've been talking about. In our type A contract or life care contract, they're synonymous, the monthly service fee that would cover all the things we just talked about would be about $3,800 a month. But with that type A life care agreement, unlimited long-term care insurance is also built in. So if one day I transition from my one bedroom cottage and I need a higher level of care, like an assisted living or memory care, or even a skilled nursing, my monthly fee is gonna remain consistent. So about 75% of our residents opt for that plan because it gives people a peace of mind and assurance of no matter what my care needs might be, no matter what my situation might be in the future, my monthly fee is gonna remain relatively consistent. There's an alternate option, a type C or a fee for service contract that covers the exact same complement of services. Everything that we talked about earlier. The only, only difference with the type C contract is it's less expensive while a resident is living independently. It's about $2,700 a month for that same cottage. But the caveat with that contract is if and when I might need to graduate to a higher level of care, like that assisted living, memory care, or skilled nursing, my monthly fee would increase and I would be responsible for paying whatever the per diem rates are for long-term care at the time. What those rates might be in the future, we have no idea. I can give you the current rates. At Collington, assisted living averages about $200 a day and um, skilled nursing care averages about $300 a day. I say that because that contract type tends to be a really good fit for people who've already made the investment in long-term care insurance. That long-term care insurance can help defray some of the cost of those per diem rates should you go that contract. So just in summary, each and every home, you're gonna have those three choices of buy-in or entrance fee, and you're gonna also have those two choices of monthly service package as well. One of our best practices at Collington is before a resident, a prospective resident can join our wait list, we like to do a detailed financial analysis together, an actuarial, to make sure we look at those things and we look long-term to make sure that we're setting our residents up for success. Again, joining a place like Collington, joining a life plan community, it's not like buying a house, it's not like renting a condominium, it's a long-term plan for your future where we're proactively preparing for all of those contingencies up front.